Hey, it's me, Zach Weissmuller, senior producer at Reason. For the past several months, Liz Wolf and I have been hosting a show on Reason's YouTube channel and on the Reason Interview podcast feed that we've called the Reason Livestream. Before we announce what's coming next, let's look at some of the conversations we've had already. Porn is like one of the most powerful things. And if you're a teenage boy, you remember being a teenage boy? I remember it well. <laughs> you yeah. were an early dissenter from the tyrannical COVID regime. The really striking one, you'll see Sweden at the very bottom of this chart because Sweden's excess death rate during the pandemic was the lowest in Europe. This is a shocker. No one up here is going to call you Donald Trump anymore. We're going to call you Donald Duck. He's so proud. Uh, He's so yeah, satisfied. Just, yeah, let's just let's just look at that for a second. <laughs> what are you going to do, Bill, to shift from the individualist perspective to the collectivism perspective in your chemistry classes in this semester? Nothing. I'm not going to do it. I just, I hate fact checking. I mean, like, cause, because the, the temptation that the fact checkers always succumb to is they go beyond, like, factual claims. There he is on the cover of uh, an AP article wielding a chainsaw. I, I wonder whether this will be the moment that the radical campus and academic left breaks. When YouTube suppressed that video of a sitting governor uh, talking to his scientific advisors, I, I was stunned the beginning of the thread, you write that the aftermath of October 7th is a test for the West and for all open societies. Really is a tragically beautiful example of how difficult it is to legislate kindness. A lot of what underlies uh, the American culture of trust, of discourse, of searching for the truth, of uh, mutual respect is inherently cultural. It's not legislated. You can't legislate it. That culture of honest discourse that Russ Roberts talks about in that last clip, that's really what we're all about here. We've decided to transform this into a new show we've named Just Asking Questions. We've got exciting plans in the works for the new version of the show on Just Asking Questions. We'll continue to bring you more of these long form conversations, diving deep into a single topic for an hour or more at a time with data, media clips, and guests who can teach us, challenge us, and have fun with us. Sometimes we'll be live, sometimes we won't. But new episodes will air on Reason TV's YouTube channel at 1 p.m. Eastern time on Thursdays and on the Just Asking Questions podcast feed on Fridays. So subscribe now to Just Asking Questions wherever you get your podcasts to get notified about full episodes going forward. And if you like what we're doing here, one of the best things you can do is spread the word to friends who you think might dig it. We wanna take this to the next level and we need your help to do it. Our first episode of the new version of the show will go up next week at 1 p.m. Eastern time and will be a special in-person taping with podcaster Dave Smith. Mm -hmm. Given our interactions in the past, I can assure you, you're not going to want to miss this one. The title question is going to be, what is a libertarian? Join us next week to get some answers.